Hello, my name is Jason Johnson, and this video series is on the Raptor flowchart-based programming environment. So let's say we're writing a program to collect information about employees in a firm. We need each employee to enter their name, address, and other personal information, such as marital status, number of children, and so forth. So what we're going to do is that we would write some of the pseudocode to look like this. We would say, do you have any children? Type yes for yes, n for no input the response. If response is yes, then write how many to the user. The user would then input the number of children and then end if the questionnaire is complete. So this is just a simple, um, we're going to ask um, a, a series of questions and based on those answers, the program is going to do one or two different things. So kind of a decision tree that we're going to do here. So let's open up first and we're going to start our program here and we're going to input from the user we're going to ask the user, say, do you have any children? So we're just going to double, uh, let's save it first. And let's call this one, um, let's call this one decision. Just call this decision. And we're going to double click on here and we're going to say, quote, do you have any children? Question mark in the quote. And then we're going to create a variable here and we're just going to call this one response. We're just going to call the variable response there. We're going to click enter. And we're going to have our output there. And then what we're going to do next is we're going to do a selection. And we're going to put this in here. And this one's going to look at the response. If the response was yes or no, um, and they would put that in there. So we would say, do you have any children? And then yes or no. So they'd put a Y or an N in there. And we're going to, on this one, say, we're going to double click on this. And we're going to say the response and we're going to put a double equal sign and we're going to say yes or capital Y. If it is, a, if the response is equal to, and that's what we're saying, equal, equal is equal to capital Y, that would be a yes. And then we're going to go off to the yes. If it's no, it's going to go to the no side. And then we're going to ask the user because we need to say if they responded with yes, because let's look back at our text here. If they responded with yes, we need to have them put in how many children they have. So on the yes side, we're going to ask another input question, and we're just going to drop that right there. And we're going to say, how many children or how many? And then we're going to make the variable of, we're going to call this one, well, if I can type properly here, number children, like that. And on the no side, um, we're not going to do anything yet, but we are going to set down here and we're going to output to the user. We're going to say the questionnaire is complete. So we're going to put an output here and we're going to, you know, I'm going to copy and paste from my notes over here because it's easier. We're going to say questionnaire is complete and thank you. So based upon the response from the user, it's either going to go yes or no. And if it's a yes, then we're going to say how many children. It'll store that value and then it'll put output to the user. So let's take a look at this and let's run this in a step by step. So we're going to step, we're going to start the program and it's going to say, do you have any children? Get a response and we're going to put Y for yes. Now, typically this is a simple program, but usually what we're going to do is we're going to tell the user to put Y for yes, N for no. In this case, we didn't because we're keeping it simple. We're just looking at the decision tree, but we're going to put in Y for yes and it stored our response of Y. And the decision tree is going to look at that and it's going to say, is that equal to Y? If it is, go yes. If not, no. And we're just going to say it was a yes, so it went left. And now it's going to ask another input and it's going to ask how many. And let's just put five. It's going to store number of children five. It's then going to come down here and it's going to output to the user. Questionnaire is complete. Thank you. And in the program. And let's run through that one more time here. It's going to output it to the user. Do you have any children? I'm going to put in for no. You're going to see it go to the right and it'll say inputs complete and no, and it only restored a response of no. And so that's a decision tree that you would do with Raptor. It's going to ask a question or you could do an assignment and based on the response, whether in this case it was equal to yes, it's either going to go either a yes or a no and then continue on from there. All right. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and stay safe and be excellent to each other.